Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, official trainer for I Love Lacrosse TV. Super popular topic today, shooting routine. People ask me about, you know, what's a good shooting routine to make me, you know, a much better scorer. So today I'm going to give you the absolute best shooting routine to make your lights out score, right? You'll be able to score at will if you practice this way. So just think of it real quick. The biggest problem I see is that most people do two things when they practice shooting. One, they stand right in front of the goal usually without a, any barrier or goal, goalie, right? And they shoot straight at the net. Um, and they always go high and pick corners, right? Um, but usually they're right in the middle of the net. Um, and the other thing they do is you shoot from way too far out. So I've seen six, seven, eighth graders shooting from 15 yards, you know, and you miss a ton of shots. I know it's fun to shoot far once in a while, but the point of this shooting routine is one technique. So form right, for set shots, on the run shots, and a combination of both, you know. Um, it's really working on your technique. Two is to, to develop a scoring mentality. So you wanna see the ball hitting that net a lot, which means, you know, we're gonna start at a distance where you can focus on your form and be accurate, and then as that, as you get better, and you, then you move back and see how it goes. So. That's really important. That's what we're attempting to fix here. Um, and the other thing, like I said about standing in front of the goal, you wanna practice from the different areas on the field where realistically you're gonna get the most shots during a game. So the first drill is gonna be our form set shooting drill. So think time and room, your feet are set um, and you let it fly. Two is gonna be dodging the alley. Obviously super important in lacrosse, getting comfortable, dodging from about 20 to 15 yards and shooting from five to 10, right? Um, and number three would be taking an alley dodge and then rolling back and getting a set shot. So we'll go over that as well. Um, those three combination things, if you really work on your form, um, you'll see a big, big increase in your, in your scoring. All right, guys, so this is the form set shooting routine. Obviously form set shooting, so we're working on our form. The whole point of this, as you'll see, um, and the name suggests, we really wanna work on perfect technique and form and de developing a scoring mentality. So what I suggest, and you'll see when we get into it, I want you to start closer to the goal, right? Five yards maybe from the goal. You could, you could be even with the pipe. And then as you get better, move back seven yards, nine yards, 11 yards. You know, and to make it more challenging, once you master those, you can move out a little bit further. So he's about one or two yards away outside the pipe. The closer you get to the hashes, obviously the harder it's gonna be, right? But start, the whole point is to start close. Like I said, if you can hit all 20 or 25, great. We wanna really get used to seeing that ball stick into the net, right? Also, notice how his back hip and his bat and his hands and his back leg come flying through and they're moving towards the target, all right? I also have some cones out. If you notice, when we aim, how do we aim when we shoot? We aim with our front hip, right? So I know a lot of kids tend to open up. Watch how Troy's toes stay along those cones, right? You wanna make sure your hip is moving towards the pipe, towards the target, all right? So let me step aside and watch Troy do it. Ready when you are, kid up. Out and off, lean and rip. Good, good. See how he finishes that, fat, that right hip? Troy, get more lean, Troy, shift the back leg. Shift the back leg before he goes. Finish, good. He's throwing his hands and his back hip directly at the target. One more. Lean, lift city. Awesome. And now once he does 10 or 15, you can see he's pretty accurate there. He'll move to 12, 15, you know, so, someone like him is gonna move back and out, all right? So that's a great drill. It's our form set shooting routine. All right, guys, now we're gonna get into our form on the run shooting. Uh, routine again the word form we're working on our technique and our shooting on the run form so real important watch when Troy does it one you could start close where you know you're dodging from about 10 yards so you shoot from about five and you stay inside the hash between the hash and the pipe and then to make it more difficult obviously at some point you should be dodging at about 20 shooting at about 15 and being, you know, two or three yards outside the hash would be tough shots, right? Um, so you can do that. Now watch when he shoots that you do not, you wanna be releasing the ball when your hips and your shoulders are facing the target. So watch how he does that. Your, your shoulders and hips should be facing the target as the ball leaves your stick, all right? So let's watch it. 
You just choice is going to do a regular jab step. Good. Good. Nice job. Come back over. See the way he spins out at the end? That is naturally happening. You know, if you're throwing that back hip, that's what's going to happen. So if you don't finish in a back pedal, you're probably not doing it exactly right. Okay? So watch that again. Good. Nice job. Awesome. So see guys, as you, especially with the, the short goal, accuracy is difficult, right? So he's very close. He's shooting in full speed with really good form. First two he missed. Now he's going to tighten up his grip. And you know, he's probably releasing a little late. So now he's going to adjust on the next two and release a little earlier. And let's see what happens. Get rid of your foot. Just go over the top of the line. One by five. One by five. Out. Up. Good. Awesome. Next one. Do it again. Good job. I'm sure you see on video that the head of the stick was out in front of his body. Go. Good. Two for two. Nice job, kid. Up. So that's our on-the-run form shooting routine. All right, guys, now we're gonna get into the alley rollback into a set shot. So the whole point of this dodge is to get it the defender to overplay the dodge. So you wanna start in the middle of the field, right down the middle, and the point of it, you want to get the defender to overplay so you can roll back and improve your angle. So get a better angle on your shot before you let it fly. Notice, real quick, one, the number of steps he uses when he, he rolls back into from when he rolls to his set shot, right? So you can improve this by using less and less steps, which Troy does very well. I think it's two steps. Um, try for three to four steps at the most and then keep working down. Also, notice how he follows his stick. Do not hang your stick. When you roll, the head of your stick, you should be able to see it. It should be in front of your face, all right? So just notice those two things. Let's get into it. Good. Good. Again. Set. Good. Good. Nice job. I hope you guys liked our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout that will help you add 10 miles per hour to your shot, just click here or click the link in the description, enter in your email, and I will send it directly to your email. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, or leave a comment. Until next time, keep working.